everyone, welcome back to Dear Peachy. Today we are going to talk about a very hot topic in China. The topic of effective makeup is highly discussed in China recently. Effective makeup actually means applying makeup too effectively and accurately in order to accentuate one's features. Do you realize sometimes even we have done all of the required steps but we still look the same before putting makeup? But other girls put on makeup, they literally change into another person. Or worse, you even think that you look better without it. So today, this makeup guru in China here is going to teach you guys the basics of effective makeup. In effective step 1, foundation. Dab foundation all over your face and blend it out with beauty blender. The foundation is uneven on the edges, blemishes are still prominent. Looks cakey, flat face and uneven skin tone. Effective foundation. Lightly pat on the foundation on face using fingertips. Use beauty blender to gently dab it out. This will make your base stay on better and longer. The beauty blender will carry the excess products away and make your skin looks airy. Use concealer to brighten the little dark spots on your face. Place the brush tip at the darkest spot and blend it out. To narrow her nose bridge, she will add concealer to side of her nose. This makes your nose looks clean and smaller. And sharpen the center of your face. Then put on some setting powder, base is done. Let's look at the comparison. In effective step 2, contouring. Do not understand your face shape using the wrong contour technique that is not suitable for your face shape. It does not help with correcting your face shape but emphasize your flaws even more. Effective contouring. Understand your face shape. She says she has high cheekbones, flat chin and prominent masseter muscle. So she needs to correct all this by contouring. Apply contour at the highest point of your cheekbone. Blend it in inward direction. This will pull your cheekbones in visually. Same as the masseter muscle, blend it inward direction. For chin, add shadows at both sides of your chin to sharpen your chin. Time to compare. In effective step three, eyebrows. Drawing out the frame and fill them in. Looks unnatural. Flat brows on flat face will not refine your features. Extend the end of brows excessively will make your eyes look wider apart. Effective eyebrows. Understand the brow shape suitable for yourself. Arch brows are more suitable for rounded face or flat features. Add strokes at the front of your brows. This can set your eyes closer to each other. Look, this really makes a big difference. Ineffective nose contour. Adding too much shadows at the sides of your nose to narrow your nose bridge. Your nose did turn out to be higher but the tip of your nose become bigger. Drawing a straight line from nose root to the tip of your nose. Wrong. Looks unnatural. Effective nose contour. Divide into three steps and blend out evenly. Add matte highlighter to brighten up nose bridge and nose tip. Do not overdo your nose bridge if you have a bigger nose tip. Ineffective step 4, eyeshadow. Using the wrong steps for your eyes. Start from the front to the end of your eyes, taking shades from the lightest to the darkest. Putting too much eyeshadow at the end of your eyes, making your eyes look wider apart. Adding shimmery shade under your eyes but still can't create the natural jelly rolls under your eyes. Filling in your eyeliner like this can't help to enlarge your eyes. Effective eyeshadow. Understand your eye shape and estimate the region that is needed to apply eyeshadow. If you have wide set eyes, focus to blend your eyeshadow out at the front of your eyes. Or you can apply darker shades instead. This will create the effect of making the eyes distance closer. She says she has filled an eyeliner for both upper and lower lash line, but not the inner corner. So you can see her eyes are still quite wide apart. Now you need to draw a line in the inner corner. As you can see now, her eyes look more natural. However, this technique does not apply for all girls. Those who have closer eyes distance, this will bring both of your eyes even closer. Makeup beginners usually do not notice the importance of mascara. She put on mascara for her left upper lashes. If you do not have full lower lashes, you can fake them by drawing few strokes below your eyes. This step makes your eyes look natural because it makes your eyeliner looks less harsh. Remember to take darker eyeshadow to add shadow below your jelly rolls. This step helps to enlarge your eyes and shorten the length of the center of your face. Before and after. In effective makeup step 5, lips. Filling in the lip product according to the shape of your lips. Effective lips. Use a lighter shade to set as a base. Smudge out the upper lip. Layer darker shades. This helps to look younger and shorten the center of your face. In effective makeup step 6, blush. Putting light shade blushes at the center of your face. Makes you look old and fails to brighten up the center of your face. Moreover, if the color tone of the blush and lips doesn't go well together, it will make your makeup looks messy and overall. Effective blushes. Matching the tone of your blush with the shade of your lip. Apply on the side of your cheeks to brighten up the center of your face. 
She says makeup is just similar to plastic surgery. You need to understand your flaws and make corrections about it and accentuate what's good on you. We hope this video will help you in learning makeup. Thank you so much for watching. Please like this video and subscribe to our channel. See you next time.